McDonald versus Dave Dixon. Larry Donald, big and slick, was well on his way. In a meeting of two young undefeateds, Donald with a Holmes-like jab, frustrated 15-0 Jeremy Williams for the decision. Next against Burt Cooper, Donald Style discouraged the charging veteran and stopped the smokeless Burt in seven. Undefeated in just his 17th fight, Donald found himself face to face with Riddick Moe. But this one was decided days before in the pre-fight press conference with Riddick Bowe's sneak attack. Bowe had landed his best punches even before the opening bell. Donald was completely psyched out, intimidated by the former world champ. He went 12, but never really showed up for the fight. Basically, you know, I was still at the press conference. And that's what my mind was said, still at the press conference. But like I say, that's in the books now. And uh, really, Bo, he's running around with the WBO, claiming that he's the real heavyweight champ when he's nothing but a tramp. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm, I'm right where I left off. And, you know, my opponents, they can take it however they want to take it. You know, Tuesday night, I will show everyone, everyone get to see the real life down. Tonight's matchup, boxer versus puncher. Dave Dixon is the puncher. The numbers on the powerful heavyweight are impressive. 18 wins, 16 knockouts, 11 in the first round. He says he'll smash through Donald Stein. The guy's an imitation of Muhammad Ali. You know, he, he's, he's not even a guy that just, that's original himself. You know, he's trying to be like somebody else. And, uh, you know, I know he likes to stick and move and, and, and run. And I'm just going, you know, I'm just going to do what I have to do, you know, to cut the ring off and uh, lower the boom on, you know. I don't think he can hold, hold up to my power, you know. The punches that I have to deliver to him, that's what I plan on doing. You know, my main mission is to, uh, is to you know, is to destroy the guy, you know. No matter what the people say about me, you know, it's a lot of people down on me and it's a lot of people up on me. But, you know, my main concern is, you know, is just destroying them, you know, the best way I know how. And I know if I dig down deep inside, you know, I can deliver. That's basically it, you know. I'm not a flashy, flamboyant guy. I'm the type of guy, you know, to cut the lights off on me. You know, and that's basically it. Well, a guy like Dave Dixon, you know, I don't really expect anything from him. I just expect him to get out there and do the best that he can do. But uh, me, myself, Dixon's in for a fix. Well, Donald working on his Ali needs a little work there. Tale of the tape, uh, Larry Donald usually has size and reach advantage over his opponent. Not tonight against Big Dave Dixon. The fight here in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, and these are the rules. Standing eight count in effect. Three knockdown rule is in effect. You can be saved by the bell only in the final round. And scoring the 10-point must scoring system. Now looking at the strengths and the weaknesses of these two heavyweights, here's the champ and the blackboard. Brought to you by Old Spice, tonight's boxing blackboard. Larry Donald, his strengths, he's a big heavyweight with a quick snapping jab. Larry's light on his feet with good mobility. His weaknesses, he lacks power. He has no aggression and he's too defensive. His opponent tonight, Dave Dixon, his strengths, good power in both hands, and Dave does a lot to mix his attack. His weaknesses, well, he headlines. He goes in looking for the KO, sometimes punching himself out with no shape. We'll see if he can pace himself tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Gell Promotions and matchmaker Les Bonanno in association with the undisputed King of Beers, Budweiser presents main event, 10 rounds, heavyweights. Your judges at ringside assigned by the Mississippi State Athletic Commission from Destrehan, Louisiana, Elmo Adolph, from Biloxi, Mississippi, Chester Como and Freddie Steinwinder. Your referee for this event from Medway, Louisiana, Martin Casino. Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the blue trunks with white trim. He weighs 259 pounds. His professional record, 18 wins, two defeats. He has 16 knockouts. He hails from West Los Angeles, California, Dangerous Day. Dixon, Dixon, his opponent in the blue corner wearing the 
black trunks with gold trim. He weighs 232 and one half pounds. His professional record, 16 wins, one defeat. He has 12 knockouts. He hails from Cincinnati, Ohio. He is ranked number 15 in the world by the prestigious Budweiser ratings of Boxing Illustrated magazine. Here is Larry the Legend Donald. Donald and rounds heavyweights. All right, Larry, come on. All right, gentlemen, you receive your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands. And now let's have a clean fight. Shake hands, come out boxing. Larry Donald ranked number five before Riddick Bowe, now number 13 by the WBC. In the bowl fight, he had a chance to take his step into the big time, but comes out a big question mark. And now he's got to get back into fighting every month to get back to where he was. As people say, hey, those things can happen. They just can't happen twice. One strike against Larry Donald. And now he takes on a big puncher in Dave Dixon, but a man with uh, not much experience uh, as an amateur. Uh, hey, he did not fight as an amateur. And uh, as a professional, never really tested, certainly has never faced a world contender, did face Lionel Butler. But that was before Butler became what he is today, when Butler was just a 500 fighter. And in that fight, Dixon lost the first three rounds, was penalized a couple of points for low blows, and threw a couple of low blows intentionally, was finally disqualified. This is one of his two defeats. And it's a question of Dixon now making a major step up, and what happens when he faces an opponent that actually fights back. Yeah, he is definitely reaching up another level. Oh, there's a right hand that he thought would take Donald out. There's no question that Dixon has power. 18 wins, 16 knockouts, 11 in the first round. And in the 18 wins, he has already supplied 30 knockdowns. And uh, he is trying to load up with that big right hand. Yeah, big power. That big power is in his right cross. Low center of gravity, and he likes to punch up. You see so many fighters destroyed by their first loss, like Larry Donald could have. In order to prove that the bow fight was a fluke, Larry Donald must show that he can take out the Dave Dixons of the world. And in doing that, Dixon could have his best help. There's a good right hand from Dixon. Says with Larry rushing oh. in, Dixon could catch him. Like and he does right there. Dixon is getting that right hand off. 